prosecution submit, submits that they are criminally responsible for crimes against humanity and war crimes committed in Bogoro, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, on 24 February 2003. Mr. Katanga and Mr. Ngujolo were the leaders of militias composed of members of the Lendu and Giti communities. They were involved in an armed conflict with the UPC, a militia predominantly composed of members of the HEMA community and led by Tomás Lubanga. Mr. Katanga and Mr. Ngujolo planned to attack Bogoro so as to open the Bunia Kasenji route and at the same time prevent UPC attacks on Nervi Lendu and Ngiti villages. This is the situation. The city in the crossroad, UPC there. But the Mr. Ngucholo and Mr. Katanga plan was more than just disabling, disabling the UPC. The plan was to wipe out, wipe out Bogoro, destroying not only the UPC camp, but the whole civilian village. This is the plan and this is the position of the prosecutor office. Mr. Katanga and Mr. Ngucholo forces did not distinguish between military and non-military targets. When questioned about the number of civilian death, Mr. Ngucciolo responded, and I quote, there are not any civilians amongst the Hemas. They are all soldiers. Some were shot in their sleep. Some cut up with machetes to preserve bullets. Others were burned alive after the house were set on fire by the attackers. Many sought refuge, refuge, refuge in the Bogoro Institute in the center of town. They were easy prey. As you will hear, the bodies of dead civilians filled the rooms of the Bogoro Institute. Victim will come here and will tell this court of the brutal killings. Some were forced to watch the murder of their own family members. The combatants, I quote, the combatants ordered me to leave the house with my children and they surrounded us. I took my children by the hand but the combatants held them, and one of these combatants fired on my two daughters on the spot. He only shot twice from his gun. The joint attack achieved its goal. But horror was not over yet for the women of Bogoro. Once captured, some women hid their HEMA identity to save their life. Those later revealed as HEMA were killed. The others were raped and forced into marriage as combatant wife or detained to serve as sexual slaves to, by Mr. Katanga or Mitengujolo soldiers. Mr. Katanga boasted that he had ordered and planned the attack and bluntly described its aims, openly documenting the atrocities that were committed. He said, and I quote, about Bogoro, which is a village predominantly Hema, the attack was carried out to take revenge on massacres perpetrated by the Hemas in another village. And laughing, he added that nothing was spared, absolutely nothing. Chickens, goats, everything. Anyway, there was nothing left. Everything was 
Wipeout.